Today, we are on lesson 107. Lesson 107, truth will correct all errors in my mind. What can correct illusion but the truth? And what are errors but illusions that remain unrecognized for what they are? Where truth has entered, errors disappear. They merely vanish, leaving not a trace by which to be remembered. They are gone because without belief, they have no life. And so they disappear to nothingness. Returning whence they came, from dust to dust they come and go, her only truth remains. Can you imagine what a state of mind without illusion is? How would it feel? Try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less, when nothing came to interrupt your peace, where you were certain you were loved and safe. Then try to picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time and eternity. Then let the sense of quiet that you feel be multiplied a hundred times and then be multiplied another hundred more. And now you have a hint, not more than just the faintest imitation of the state your mind will rest in when the truth has come. Without illusions, there could be no fear, no doubt, and no attack. When truth has come, all pain is over, for there is no room for transitory thoughts and dead ideas to linger in your mind. Truth occupies your mind completely, liberating you from all beliefs in the ephemeral. They have no place because the truth has come and they are nowhere. They cannot be found, for truth is everywhere forever now. When truth has come, it does not stay a while to disappear or change to something else. It does not shift or alter in its form, nor come and go and go and come again. It stays exactly as it always was, to be depended on in every need and trusted with a perfect trust in all the seeming difficulties and the doubts that the appearances the world presents engender. They will merely bow away when truth corrects the errors in your mind. When truth has come, it harbors in its wings the gift of perfect constancy and love, which does not falter in the face of pain, but look beyond it steadily and sure. Here is the gift of healing, for the truth needs no defense, and therefore no attack is possible. Illusions can be brought to truth to be corrected, but the truth stands far beyond illusions, cannot be brought to them to turn them into truth. Truth does not come or go, nor shift or change. In this appearance now, and then in that, evading capture and escaping grasp, it does not hide. It stands in open light in obvious accessibility. It is important that anyone should seek it truly and not succeed. Today, truth belongs to you. Today belongs to truth. Truth gives its due, and it will give you yours. You were not meant to suffer and die. Your father wills these dreams be gone. Let truth correct them all. We do not ask for what we do not have. Merely we ask for what belongs to us, that we may recognize it as our own. Today we practice on the happy note of certainty that has been born of truth. The shaky and unsteady footsteps of illusion are not our approach today. We are as certain of success as we are sure we live in hope and breathe and think. We do not doubt we walk with truth today. We count on it to enter into all the exercises that we do today. Begin by asking him who goes with you upon this undertaking that he be in your awareness as you go with him. You are not made of flesh and bone and blood, but were created by the same self thought which gives the gift of life to him as well. He is your brother, and so like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you. And how could he be absent 
where you are. Truth will correct all errors in the mind which tell you you could be apart from him. You speak to him today and make your pledge to his function be fulfilled through you. To share his function is to share his joy. His confidence is with you and you say, truth will correct all errors in my mind and I will rest in him who is myself. Then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world reluctantly. And yet you will be glad to look upon this world again, for you will bring with you the promise of the changes which the truth that goes with you will carry to the world. They will increase with every gift you give of five small minutes and the errors that surround the world will be corrected as you let them be corrected in your mind. Do not forget your function for today. Each time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors of my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he set you free. Lesson 107. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Let's see what Magdalene has to say. Greetings, beloveds. Truth is indeed the great elixir that will produce a revelation, an unveiling, and a releasing of one from the egoic mind. The mind which looks and sees what is not the truth. The mind that looks and says, this is wrong and should be different than it is. For the truth is, every circumstance, every creation is exactly as it is meant to be. And it is merely the judgment of the egoic mind that deems that a circumstance should be different than it is. These are the projections that you make with your mind that say, this is not the way that I want it to be. This is not the way that it should be. But allow each circumstance, each interaction, the words that are spoken to you, the actions that happen, to be a revelation of truth, beloved ones. Allow love to be revealed in all circumstances. And when you feel that you have been disturbed by the actions of another, by the words of another, penetrate beneath and look within and see what the truth is. And there and only there, beloveds, will you find love. When you ask for assistance of the Holy Spirit, when you ask to be joined within your mind with the light of truth, that is what shall occur. When you ask to see the truth in a particular circumstance, why something happened, and how it is guiding you back to the kingdom. That request shall indeed be answered. For that which you seek, you will find. Allow yourself to be one who not only seeks beloved, but truly one who finds. Finding the truth is far easier than you would have imagined. You must recognize that you have come upon a condition that bears reevaluation. And in that reevaluation, you will indeed be granted the opportunity to pierce through the veil and to see that which truly abides, which is love. One of the keys to seeing the truth, beloveds, is forgiveness. It is atonement. It is taking a look at that which triggers you, that which pulls you into the whirlwind of judgment and fear that where you feel that something is being threatened, 
And then you come to see, beloveds, that that is seemingly impossible. For the truth is that nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exists. It is merely an aspect of your mind that has said, I must review this a little more carefully. I must investigate this. I must see truly what this is about, what this is for. And as you allow it to be revealed for the truth that it is, there is a peace that comes upon you. And all errors in the way that you have been thinking within the mind are instantly corrected. Where you have seen trouble, you now see love. Where you have seen criticism, you now see love. Where you have seen judgment, you now see love. And the key to seeing the love is the forgiveness. So forgive each being for their point of view and allow the truth to be revealed. Allow it to come for the truth is always ever present. The truth is always the truth. Each being will have their different interpretation of it based upon their soul's journey and their soul's perspective. So allow them to have their points of view and know that every time that you are indeed upset or disturbed by a circumstance, it is a divine lesson for you to forgive, to see the light of truth, and to once again experience love in each and every moment. For there will be no greater lesson for you than to love in the face of that which disturbs you greatly. And what disturbs you greatly is what you yourself have not yet been willing to fully accept about your journey, your journey of existence. There will indeed be critics in your life. There will indeed be those who disagree with you. And when they do, beloveds, allow them their journey. For know that they are players within your world, within your game, to teach you the very lessons that you are meant to learn so that you too can experience love and joy. And when the seas go from calm to rough, take a breath, breathe in, and ask for the truth to be revealed. And when it is, celebrate. For the truth of all beings is also the truth of you. And ask indeed for assistance from the Holy Spirit to help you to see the truth. Call upon any of us to allow you to see the truth in all circumstances and then bless it, <laughs> bless it with love and bless it with light. For in the light of truth, all errors are dissipated and there is naught but love. <laughs> we thank you for your journey of love and truth and light with us beloved ones. And we will speak with you again. Mm. Wishing you all a really good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.